Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I wanted to give you a look at some personalized wallets that are going out for some holiday gifts. This first one here is a beautiful piece of Amaretto Shell Cordovan on our Giant of the Fox. And this one has a mock horsehide interior, which allows us to make the wallet extra thin. I like the sleekness of the horsehide interiors. This one has been personalized for PCT in my favorite Shell Cordovan color. Let me give you another look at this really nice Amaretto Shell. Here's another one. It's really cool, black shell cordovan, and I like the sleekness of the black shell, how the light reflects off of these shells. It's super nice. This one has been personalized for Stu, and I think that fits perfectly on a little monogram piece in the, in the bottom right corner there. We can monogram basically anything that we make, so if you don't see it as an option on the site, just let us know. Uh, let's take a look at the inside here. That is a really interesting black reverse interior. So the black shell cordovan on the outside here, when you flip that around and look at the reverse side of it, it tends to be these range of colors of green. Sometimes it's a little bit more tan, like the bottom left here, and sometimes it's a little bit more forest green, like the front right or this card slot right here, and all of the colors in between. What I like about the reverse interiors are a couple different things. I like how this wears in when you wear the wallet. It's a little bit easier to fill in when these get scuffed and scratched from the letters and numbers on your credit cards. But I also like being able to see all these random die marks and the random color range. I think that makes it really neat. And then to top it off, we get to see the Horween ink stamp in the center. Take a look at this giant the Fox. This one's uh, for a friend of mine, actually. This is a 100% English tan Dublin giant the Fox. I love, love the English tan Dublin. The color is super nice. The luster is really bright and smooth. But the best part about the Dublin for me it's the grain character. Maybe I can present that here for you, but just has incredible natural character to it. And that's because this Dublin is naturally finished. It was what we call an aniline finish. So there's no paints to cover up any of that natural character. All that is used is stains. So you can see right through the color down to the character of the leather. Let me give you a look at the inside here. More English tan Dublin on the inside. We do have several of these left. Uh, so if you're looking for a personalized wallet like this one for AJM, you can pick that up on the site. And speaking of English Tan Dublin, we have some people that have been really interested in the belt weight Apple Watch bands and watch straps. So this one is a Dublin belt weight leather. Just like the Apple Watch band that I've been wearing, this one's a little bit different though because it has a little hand stitch on the top here to close off this uh, lug piece. And they've also lined it a little crease marks on the edges sort of cleans it up a little bit and this again is extra thick nine ounce leather which gives it a little bit more of like a hefty look on a watch strap um, i think it complements larger watch faces a little bit better let me give you a look at the buckle side here too this one's also hand stitched we have that little whip stitch going around the sides and same with the keeper there. All the keepers are actually hand stitched. But we do the Apple Watch bands in two different hardware finishes. This is the black finish, but we also have a silver finish. And here's a fun piece. This is from our private stock. And this is Colorate Hatch Grain on the outside, which is a texture that's been pressed into the shell on this classic shell cordovan color. It's a really nice look. Let's take a look at the inside here. This is what is extra special. So we have Colorate Shell. I believe these are amaretto. I think I may have called it whiskey before, but something interesting happens when textures get pressed into the shell, the colors sort of become a little bit more vibrant and a little bit lighter. So this amaretto is a little bit less orange and a little bit more of like a natural shade on the inside here. And this would be a good comparison here because this is a natural shell cordovan piece, but this is the Frank the Enforcer, a minimalist card holder with two card slots on the front, one on the back. You can see here the natural shell has a really nice color shift. So some angles, the color is a little bit brown and then the other angles, it's a little bit more of like lighter orangey tan, sort of got a little bit of life to it compared to most natural veg tan leathers. And the shell cordovan is a veg tan leather. Here's a one shot card case and several of these have been going out this week. I'm really happy about this particular leather. And I shouldn't promote it because I don't know if Horween's able to do this again. But what this is, is a veg horsehide strip from Horween. And they stained it to this really dark brown color. And I really love the grain character on this horsehide strip. 
And I hope it translates properly on the video here. It's just really pronounced grain. And then the stain that was used on this, even though it might appear black, it is a very, very dark brown. And because it's stained, you can see a little bit through the finish. So in person, this has a really nice depth of color. I like being able to see a little bit of the undertones in this veg. And here's another Johnny the Fox that's been really popular. I love this leather. This is black Dublin on the outside. And take a look at this grain character. It's just exceptional. I love being able to see all this natural variation and character in the leather. It looks much less like paint uh, than most leathers in the world. And I think it's a real shame that you find a lot of black leathers in particular that are very heavily finished. So it's like, why even use leather at that point? It just looks more like plastic. Let me give you a look at the inside here. We have more black leather. This is actually black horsehide latigo from Horween. So we've got black on the outside, black on the inside. All of the edges on this particular wallet are black as well. So I really like the stealth out look, even on the backside of the leather here. It's a really cool stealth out black Dublin Johnny the Fox. And we have a few belts going out today. Several of them are in the natural chrome Excel like this here. And I really like our belts. We, we can make them in pretty much any size, but they're a little bit difficult to size. So if you're trying to pick up a belt, the best thing to do is to take your current belt and measure it from where the leather wraps around the pin of this buckle right here to the hole that you currently use on your belt. And that will give you the size that you want. So this one is size 40 to the center hole on the other side here. Let me give you a look at these holes because I really like this. So the center hole on this one, that's 40 inches from here to the buckle. So you get a couple inches each direction. These are one inch spaced across, but I really like this teardrop shape of the buckle holes. I think it just gives it a little bit more of an interesting look. And it's also the way that this leather is going to sort of conform around the pin of the buckle anyways. And here's the last wallet to show you today. This is a special piece. This is a Fat Herbie, my personal favorite wallet style in Color H Shell Cordovan. And this is our double reverse variation on it. And I call it double reverse because you get to see the shell side and the reverse shell side on the outside of the wallet. But you also get to see the shell side and the reverse side on the inside of the wallet. And I like that look very much. Again, because we can see the random color, the random die marks and the Horween ink stamp. This is a really special Fat Herbie going out today. So thanks for checking out the video. If you are not signed up to the newsletter, I highly suggest signing up there because we've got some special announcements coming up soon that you're not gonna wanna miss. If you're into Horween leather, if you're into Shell Cordovan, uh, I've got really special things for you. So stay tuned there. Thanks again for checking it out. I'll see you next time.